Hello, hello. How are you guys? Fa'iliyom. I'm gonna do a closet tour because you guys have been waiting for this for a really, really long time. So come on in, guys. Welcome to where all the magic happens. <laughs> so, guys, I'm fikra behind the closet. I'm Jail fikra. No, so basically, when we started planning uh, my closet with the interior designer, I was like, the most important thing is that it is white, super clean, super like clean cut, you know what I mean? And the lighting has to be amazing. I was like, ahem shay al idaa, ahem shay al idaa, because I take so many photos, everything, I was like, the, the lighting has to be perfect. Like, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, so that was the most important thing, I think, when I was starting to plan my closet. Um, as well as like the sections, like I wanted everything to be like well organized. So I have like the accessory wall um, over here on the right, and then I have like my shoe wall, which I think is is my favorite part because I love shoes. Yani mara 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 I have shoes. I got some like Chanel sneakers. I love Chanel sneakers. They're so comfortable. Um, I have other things like Louboutin. I haven't worn in forever, but I still keep them here. Um, I don't archive them because I archive some of my old stuff. But these I don't, for instance, because they're like really special to me. Um, some of my favorite, favorite sneakers. Yani, I has not. It reminds me of so many good memories. Fat, like I try and keep them in my closet. Um, other things that I love are boots. Yani, this is like my favorite boots right now. Um, I love Python, these Chanel ones, I have only worn, yeah, I can two, three times, but also one of my favorites. Can't live without my Gucci's, they're like my favorite, Saraha. I started buying these like two years ago, um, but honestly the most comfiest shoe ever, like these are so beautiful. I love velvet and the pink ones. You know, real men wear pink. <laughs> um, what else? I have them also in leather with an open back and then leather with a closed back. These are really nice because I wear these more in like a formal setting. I feel like it adds like a little, you know, a little touch of something. These are one of my favorite shoes that I've ever bought, ever, ever, ever. They're Celine, Celine pre, pre Heidi. And then let me take you guys to the accessory wall. Um, arc lights, these LV arc lights, they're like my favorite, well one of my, I feel like I've said everything is my favorite, but you know, I love things so much. I just, everything is my favorite. <laughs> everything that I own is like my favorite, but these, they look a bit like UFO-ish. Like when I'm wearing them, I feel like, like I'm an alien, you know what I mean? Like I just landed on earth and I'm an alien, but they're sick, I'm, like obsessed. Um, and then I have a few just like little bags that I that I use like this is a belt bag So it goes right here or sometimes, you know, I, I cross it across like cross cross body. Is that what we call it a cross body bag? Um, I love this though this I like use all the time um, And then this is my baby like literally this is like my child that I have given birth to. <laughs> so I bought this bag in Marbella um, two years ago? No, a year, like a year and a half ago, I would say. Honestly, it took me forever to find it and it's the color that I wanted and it's just so beautiful. So beautiful, I love you. Let's just take a moment and appreciate how much, how much I love this bag and how it's like my life. <laughs> the only thing is, is whenever I carry it around, it's like bigger than me. Like you could literally fit so much in it and it's so heavy, but so beautiful. Um, and then I have some of my other like travel bags. Uh, Balenciaga sneakers, as well as these like new Balenciaga sneakers are so cool. These are so, so cool. I like favorite um, and they're super comfortable. So these glasses, everybody says that they're so ugly, but I think they're like so dope. They're like a moment, you know? It's like a moment, it's a moment. 
You know, it's like a moment. It's like a moment. <laughs> I have these in another color as well. They're by this like Australian brand called Kwai, Kwai, K, Kwai. I don't know how to pronounce it. They're cool. And they're like, you know, the thing is with me and sunglasses is I lose sunglasses all the time. So I feel like getting like super expensive glasses, like I don't invest in glasses as much. These glasses, I have like two pairs. They're by this brand called Kwai, K, Kwai, Kwai, K, K Australia. I don't know how to pronounce it. Q U A Y. And then I have these glasses by Robbery and Fraud. They were my go to sunglasses this summer. I used to wear them like every single day in Mykonos. Like every single day, these glasses were on my face. Like, and I used to wear them day and night. Like, I don't even know who I thought I was. I would like go to dinner in sunglasses. People are like, excuse me? I'm like, yeah, yeah. People are like, who do you think you are? I'm like, I just, I, I feel like it's a statement. It's like a mood, you know? Like I was going with a vibe. Like this was my vibe and I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna roll with it. Like, let me wear sunglasses to lunch, sunglasses to dinner, sunglasses to like whatever. Um, it was a moment though. You know when you have like a mood in mind and you just go with it? This is my mood. So let me show you guys some of my favorite stuff. Stuff. That sounded, that didn't sound good. It's my favorite pieces of clothing. There we go. That sounded much better. Um, so when it comes to organization, I did like more colorful stuff. Ooh, why is this here? That wasn't supposed to happen. That goes in the blues. There we go. That makes more sense. So here's like a bit of more like colorful stuff, like a bit lighter, like lighter jackets. And then here is black. You guys can tell that I love the color black. Um, and then here we have some like suede, khaki, and then denim stuff. This is like more like cowboy. This is like my cowboy section. <laughs> That's so random. And then here I have just like a few random pieces. Um, and then I have like sweaters and hoodies up top. I like to stay pretty organized. I mean, I, I like to think that I'm pretty organized. Um, and then over here, we have some of my coats. In Doha, in my closet here in Doha, I don't have a lot of like the super heavy stuff um, because it doesn't get that cold. So I just have like a selection of like a few coats, um, some things that I don't even know why I own, like this red latex coat, like what was I thinking? Um, and then here I have uh, suits. Not that many suits, because I don't wear suits that often, but I have quite a few. Oh, and I have this. This is like a sequence. I'm still holding these sunglasses when I put them on. <laughs> I don't know if I can take me seriously while I'm wearing these glasses and talking to you guys, but this just seems really obnoxious. But this jacket I wore um, for a Vogue Arabia shoot that I was in, and I just can't get rid of it. I know that I'm never gonna wear this again, like, مستحيل بحياتي بل بس هذا الشيء مرة ثانية. But I will keep it because it's like the first most important piece of press that I've gotten. Well, I've gotten a lot of press, but I feel like Vogue is Vogue. This is another one of my moods. This right here. Do you fancy a cup of tea, darling? And over here, we have some of my travel bags. I have this pulley, this LV pulley that I bought ages ago, but it's one of my favorites. It was before they made the four-wheeled ones. These are like iconic. <laughs> and then I have this bag that I bought in Capri. Um, it's by this like small Italian store that I found and they do like these cute bags. And this is canvas, one of my favorite materials. Cause literally if it gets dirty, you can like, you know, like clean it. Whereas leather, like if it gets scratched, it's just scratched forever. Um, and then they can initial your names in the bags. It's super, super cute. Um, and then <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay down for this one. <laughs> no. Um, and then I have this cute like Balenciaga. Um, what I like everyone. 
initially was like, oh, they look so crazy. They look like those bags you buy in a souvenir shop. But I think that's the whole point. So it's like a cool, like, little travel case. Um, but yeah. So over here, we have some more travel. Um, I have this duffel bag that I bought in, I'm going to say, like, 2010. 10 2009 is like one of the oldest things that I have um, I love it so much that's why I still have it and it's still like you know it's still in pretty good condition except I added this like strap that I bought I feel like it adds like a little bit of a color and then I have my hat bag this is one of my favorite pieces like ever um, and because I love hats, I'm like obsessed with hats. I have so many, I'll show you guys in a sec. Um, but I think it's really important to like, you know, have like a really good hat bag because hats, you know, can get creased. Um, they can get messed up really easily. So this is a necessity. Looking at me, 